Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh, I can hear you, you know. Oh? You can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm... Well... Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you... Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know... I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like later. Those myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect! You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So, you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shadow! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you, on the other side of the screen, remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, all right?
likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. This is grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Please don't fall off. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry, you can trust me. Okay, thank you. Mommy said she married daddy because she was expecting me. She wanted to have an abortion, but it's illegal against the law that's kind of the same thing <laughs> yes hmm maybe I could try to fix it I'm gonna do it I'm doing it to smile even when I'm sad. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died and she was so sad. <laughs> like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will daddy learn I like them alive? really bad what is it dead animals that's what it is yikes forever We had 
that lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk and daddy actually said hi to me. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. That's today! It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> this is where I saw a really cute fox. I call him Benjamin. I've seen him around the house, right outside my window. I think he's really cute. Please, Miss Fortune, you should be careful around wild animals. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? Hello, kitty. Here, come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Damn it, I never get to pet the sweet animals. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now.
little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. I'll set it free so we can go to the party. What party? The puppy is obviously going to a sweet party. It, it has a party hat. Ah, yes, the party. I heard George is having one. This must be his dog. So, are we going? Yes, why not? It's just a bit farther ahead. Come on, puppy, let's go party! Oh, puppy, I'm petting you. Why do you love me? You like me? It says, no dog allowed. Oh, really? Oh no, I step on Doogie Doo. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, puppy, that's yucky. Don't eat the vomit. Yikes forever. doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, puppy, I'm petting you. Why do you let me? You like me? So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes, that too. Sweet, let's go then. Come on, puppy! Puppy, what are you doing? Did you find a treasure? You seem to have found the secret of the beach. The beach has a secret? Yes, let's have a look. Ah, oh, look! A fortune treat and a doggy cookie. One for me and one for puppy. Isn't it perfect? Yes, but you can only take one. A cookie for you or a treat for the dog. I'll take the doggy treat and use it to make the doggy love me. <laughs> Go, puppy. You never know when it's your last treat. No, puppy! Puppy, don't go! Puppy! Freaking blackbirds! Oh my, that will make George really upset. Yeah, I hope I get to meet the puppy again sometime. I bet you will. Mr. Voice. Why does everyone leave me? I'm still here. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes, I mean if you want to. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Yet. 
just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Oh. Ah, a fish! What should we do about it? I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave, telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> Is answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fish. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes! the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Stay back, Miss Fortune. What is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. 
It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. Okay, it doesn't look bad, magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. to see the magic inside. <gasps> this cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. That was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Beep, beep. <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Whoa, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? Kiss and makeup. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. Oh, are those mints? Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right? 
Miss Fortune? I'm okay. of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another bounce. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. Oh, look. I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. I know, thank you. Fortune. Yay! <laughs> Squirrel spin? Hmm. Um, uh... This looks like the science project Daddy has in the basement. I don't know why, but Mommy was really angry about it.
That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune rarely die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Hello. Crap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. Slow down, you fuck! Misfortune. What? Language. Ah, Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, 
I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. It says, don't feed the bird. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign M. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Nah. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Rodrigo is my responsibility. That's very mature of you, Miss Fortune. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Nah, horse swinging is so last year. I see. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Nah, I haven't practiced for a while. <laughs> I leave it to the pros. Oh, cute. Cool dancing. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Ah, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> so, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. 
First question, have you ever stolen anything? Never? Good for you. Second question. Are you happy right now? Yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. That shovel, okay. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <gasps> Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, 
Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. I'll put it back. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Aha! There! That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh my Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Benjamin? <laughs> 